Right, I think I'm all prepared for this. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit quiet, it's been a really tiring out work, but I'm too excited to not open this to uh, not show you straight away. Now I've got it pre-opened, so I shouldn't be faffing about too much with that. That's as far as I've got. It's not, what it says on there, a 28 foot static camera run. <laughs> At least I hope not. It's a new manufacturer to me, and oh well, hey, nicely packaged. I should add, this is from King Garden Railways, and I didn't feel there was a delay, but as such, but there's come with a lovely note from Andy at King Garden Railways to say I'm sorry for the delay, many, many thanks for the order and everything, which is really nice. But yes, a new manufacturer to me, Rapido Trains, UK, makes one of their thumbs up. 16 inch funnels at 06 size saddle tanks, and this one is Hollybank number three in NCB line blue, sound fitted, ECC sound fitted. Now, I have had a Rapido locomotive before, I had one of the Monorail 16XX pannier tanks, but I don't count that because that was done for Monorail. This is obviously their own volition, so and this is their own volition, their own creation to their own standards purely. So. You know, and I know we don't need a review because we, there's a thousand and one reviews out there for this. So we open it up. Lovely to own his manual. Not a review, like I say. I, I don't do reviews anyway. You know, my model aircraft, those of you watch model aircraft ones. But, uh, oh wow. There's my first look at it. Now, this engine is not preserved. Don't be fooled, people. Not preserved. There is an engine painted up as this one in preservation, but not, not this exact engine. But it's that one that they actually recorded for this, based at the Chase Water Railway. The sound off the off the actual engine that's painted up like this. So my little heritage railway, those of you who watched last night's video, my little heritage railway, this is the actual one preserved um, here. For the purposes of that, so we slide off the uh, usual packaging. Nothing new to show there, nothing new. Oh, it's a pause firing to watch out for, it will not fall off everywhere. Open up that. Oh wow. Oh, this is a thing of beauty, a thing of beauty. Right, let's get it out and get it onto the track. Now, I've turned the controller on, I'm fully, fully ready for, I think, for the most part. Pop it down. Oh, should we try putting it on the rails? That might be an idea. There we go. There we are. So there is Hollybank number three on the uh, on the rails there, looking rather nice. So, of course, we're going to select number three and. Uh, Try and work this so I've not got the uh, phone being knocked about. Take what I don't need to plug it in. I've got some sort of the phone. Excuse me, there we are. That way we're not knocking, not knocking the phone about when we do bits. Right, so let's get the manual. Customer selected number three on the controller. Actually, it should be by factory default. DC operate DCC operation page four. Running in. This fish an X18 decoder, an X18 decoder socket. You want to decode to DCC in the future. So, our savage models which use ESU decoders, but many mainstream in fact. Has a factory fit speaker, so we need a sound decoder. If you're lucky, buy a sound decoder direct for repeater trains. How to fit? We don't need to. We don't need to. They actually acknowledge the Chase Water Railway on the back, which is beautiful. Uh, and the Valley Railway as well. Right. Sound on and on, function one. There it is. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> How cool is that? Number zero is the Farbox Glow. I don't know if you'll see it. You might see it, just glowing away. Oh. Oh, I love that. The, um, you hear the sound of the... Uh, the far box door's been opening. Did we get them closed as well? That's cool. So, 
So here is a, a whistle, a long whistle. That's toggleable, so I can make it really long. Or I can make it a bit shorter. And this is a short whistle. Nice. Here's three blasts on the whistle. Oh, function four. Um, option five is two blasts. Option six is a crow whistle. Seven is shoveling. Oh, sorry, no, seven is coasting, which won't have any effect obviously in a minute. So it's stationary. Eight is shoveling. Okay. Um, nine is the injectors. That's the injectors off again, so on again. That's water going into the boiler. So, oh, I need to remember how to. That's cool, so it's actually using my... Okay. Buttons here and there, cool. That's it, shift. Zero. No. Oh no. Hang on, shift. F10. No. Oh. Hang on. Just trying to get the... Uh, the next one's... On the field, the safety valve. On, uh, sorry, no, it should be the drain cox. Next, so shift F10. I think I have to. There we are, turned off. And then turn on again. F11 should be the safety valve. F12 should be the lower. That's a noise I'm very familiar with on this. F13 is the guard whistle. Oh. No, it's just not a traffic lane. Yeah, it's just an automatic. You put some coal in automatically. How lovely is that? Uh, so we need the girl's whistle now. Maybe you don't hold it down. There you go. Nope. Uh, ah, here we are. Hmm. 
Huh? I thought it was holding down me. Hang on a minute. I will just see how we get the extra functions on the controller and try and try it out and see if we can get the rest of them for you. Because we got the we got the, the we got the blower in that. There's the injectors. Before I do that, let's have a quick up and down. I've got to say, that's got to be one of the most convincing chuffing sounds I've ever heard on a model locomotive. <laughs> I did clean the tray yesterday to try and be ahead of this. That's fantastic. Right, I'll go away from this and I'll find out how to use the extra functions on this and we'll hear the rest of the sounds because there is the uh, the silly sound as it's called at the end that I really am desperate to hear. I think that'd be, that's going to be really good. Right, we're back. So now I've got it set up. So you have to turn the system on, unplug this, um, hold down select loco here and then it will bring up the options thing if you look on them online for a manual it explains how to you have to set go through go keep pressing enter all through which is here until you get to uh it says set option function button function you may that one two two and then that makes the option button oh that's, oh, that's a horn whistle and it's the option button you see it's got the f10 to f19 there uh, so I'm not sure we get 20. I'll just well, let's have to have a look. But anyway, so here we are. So this is guard's whistle and driver right away. You have to do it twice. And then 14's coupling slash upper coupling clank, so coupling. And look, uncou uncoupling. Fifteen is flange squeal. Sixteen turns acceleration, deceleration, inertia off. S seventeen is volume. Now I don't think the volume is actually too bad. Myself, I think that's too bad. Disable the brake sound if you want it. F twenty is the silly sound. Uh, so that option. Oh. Oh, there we go. So press option again. So it's the second time you get F2028. So this should be the silly sound. No, maybe it's this one. Oh, we've had a day. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, we've had a Boston day. I like that. It's all right to that, you know. It's fine because they all talk big funny around there. Let's try it again for you. For you. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> there we go. Let's let's have a bit of a blast up and down now, shall we? Automatic has a coasting mode. Want more to look? Thanks for watching. I love it. I'm going to be playing with this a lot. I can foresee. Oh, that's it. What a fantastic model. And it really puts a lot of confidence in Rapido's sound recordings and the constant speaker built within, I think, that how good that sounds. It's beautiful. This isn't a review, but I am absolutely chuffed with it. Take care all. Bye.